Welcome to a uh, sketchbook tour. So, <clears throat> uh, I just finished my sketchbook, like filled up the pages. So I decided we're gonna do a tour, but I feel like since I did the last one, uh, my editing skills have got a little bit better. So, um, yeah, let's see how we go with this. And full disclaimer, <clears throat> the drawings in here are not like, they're not perfect. They are honestly mostly just scribble and chicken scratch because this is like the place where my ideas come to life. When I have something in here and I need to get it out, the sketchbook is always not too far and um, that's usually what I'm doing with it. So yeah, let's uh, jump in and have a look. Okay, yeah, my first uh, page, which I decided to just draw some gargoyles simply because I had never done that before. We've got little Puck up in the corner just because I think he's cute and he's a cool design. Why? Um, okay, so here I was practicing my mimic drawings and I ended up, I really liked the design of this one here and I ended up using it on the backing board for my enamel pins that I designed. Um, yeah, but yeah, we've got like a little dagger. I tried my go at a bow, as in like bow and arrow, but um, it didn't really work out. A book, a shield and some gauntlets. Yeah, just trying to like basically warp things into creatures uh, okay and then on this page so this ended up being my magazine design which I called chiseled which is like a dwarf with like an axe holding in front of her these were some ideas that I had of basically like a person in the room filled with all these like retro video games and stuff um, but I never really did anything with that same with this page. These are just like turning Disney characters into Dark Souls bosses because, you know, Dark Souls freaking cool. So the Milan one I think would make a really cool idea. The Gaston one I did as like this big mutated beast, but again, I never really did anything with it later on. Um, this is a design of the Mad King from Game of Thrones. Um, the, like, you don't really see him in the TV show, but the way he was designed uh, well described in the books is that he had like really really long nails and really really long hair because he became so paranoid that he was going to be overthrown and murdered um, that he wouldn't let anyone near him with a blade so he basically stopped showering and stopped looking after his like personal care altogether um, which is ironic because the person that he did let near him with a blade is the person who killed him um, oh yeah this is when so I did a character design course and um, they basically said pick an existing IP and you're going to redesign the costumes for it. So I chose Lord of the Rings and then I was going to make it in like a futuristic setting instead of an old medieval setting. And so this one I actually did go with. Um, I had an idea for Arwen and even Frodo as like this punk with like a mohawk and stuff but scrapped those ideas in the end. This is based off the muse from Jack and Daxter. Followed my art, you know that I've done so many Jack and Daxter art pieces. Maybe I should do like a showcase of that one day. Let me know, that could be a fun time. Um, this is based off a lady that I just saw in public that had this beautiful, beautiful curly hair and the way she was wearing it up really created this like nice shake language basically so like off her face and it was really tightly pulled up around her head but then it puffed into this beautiful ball that would just kind of be like floating up there um I just thought it was a cool design so I drew it when I got home that day um these and this got really like smeared uh these I ended up turning this picture into a mask um I don't know I I'm I've been dabbling in the idea of creating not just merchandise but like t-shirt designs and, and mask designs and stuff like that um, but have also been held up with like a million other ideas so I did this through an online store but I didn't really do much with it after that 
And this was like an idea for a pinball t-shirt design that never really came through. Um, let me guess, skip the page. Oh yeah, same design using like bits and pieces of a pinball machine. This is, I really like this picture. This is a nobody from um, Kingdom Hearts, but like with a dark twist um, to make him more like, Basically, I wanted to make him really slimy and gross looking. Um, I don't know what this was. Just a random sketch, I guess. And these are quotes from the Game of Thrones books. So, uh, I listen to them through Audible, actually. And sometimes they'll just be something described in such a way that I think is so beautifully worded. Um, I really appreciate George Martin's work in that way. So like, all right, so basically it says Robert, and this is talking about the Baratheon brothers, right? So Robert was a true steel. Stannis is pure iron, black and hard and strong, yes, but brittle the way iron gets. He'll break before he bends. And then Renly is copper, bright and shiny, pretty to look at, not worth all that at the end of the day. Uh, I feel like it's just, so that was spoken by a blacksmith in the story um, who works at the wall talking to Jon Snow and just the way he described those characters sums them up so well but in like a blacksmith metaphor I think it's it's just beautiful. So it made me want to draw them. Um, these were other ideas that I had so I created Chiseled and then I wanted to do more in this kind of like series of Dungeons and Dragons magazine. So this one actually did come to. This is an idea I had for like a halfling, um, probably smoking, because that's kind of what they seem to do is just party and smoke and have fun. But yeah, I haven't done anything more other than this one yet. And this was kind of exploring that a little bit further, getting the pose right, getting some ideas for how to do the horns and yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, these are just scribbles. I don't know what any of those are. Kind of like trying to come up with ideas for NPC characters that would simply be walking around in the background. I don't know. These are the things that I like to explore. Here, we start to get to the point in the book where I was designing my pin designs. So, <laughs> with a lot of them, I would sort of have the idea in my head. So basically, it's like, pick a monster in this case cyclops and then pick a ranger uh sorry a class weapon so like for barbarian i chose the axe and then incorporate that so i basically picked a cyclops with an axe in his head being killed by a barbarian um so that was the idea and i knew that was kind of what i was going with but then i had to learn how to draw these monsters and i had to kind of put like a style on them that would translate well into a pin design. Um, here's me sort of exploring some ideas. There's a lot of these little sketches that are heavily inspired by the Wizard of Barge, who is an incredible artist. You know, anyone, like if you want to go check, check him out, he's great. And I really liked his design and that was kind of the theme that I wanted to go for, but also I couldn't just like steal his style. So it was trying to translate that. and. Um, this particular de design, this is what I ended up doing. So I guess it's kind of closer to this, but with a more sort of stylistic s design. So I was going to go through and show you all the designs and like all the pins that became of them, but instead I'll just leave a link in the description if you did happen to want to go have a look, no worries. Okay. This was my Draugr painting, so this is like the initial sketch. I knew I sort of wanted a darker gradient and light coming from down here and stuff. Um, this is just a drawing of a unicorn. It looks a little weird, but yep, yeah, cool. This, oh, I remember this one. I actually really liked how this one turned out. So basically, I went and saw the new Mortal Kombat movie. Um, I loved it. I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan, but some of the character designs I was like, oh, I probably would have gone in a different direction in that way. So not in like a good or a bad way, it's just I wouldn't have done it in that way. And uh, Melina was one of them. I like, it's cool what they did with the mouth and everything, but I would have made the teeth way more like prominent and just 
there in your face because that's such a big part of her character. She doesn't have to wear all pink because obviously they don't have to be in the same really like overly revealing sexy outfits as what they have in the games but you could give her like pink hair and make her look a bit more punky or something. So that's sort of the idea that I had there. Um, <laughs> on that note I started kind of doing my designs of Ermac because he's always been my favorite character. I don't know why, something about his story which essentially is he is like thousands of souls that have been um, murdered by a, a sorcerer and then conjured up into one being. So he was he was created by a necromancer but he's like created by millions of dead people. Um, so he's got a lot of vengeance and a lot of aggression and he ends up becoming his own thing and rather than just a puppet. And yeah, there's a whole backstory to him basically and I think it's really interesting so I just like this character essentially. Um, again, these are just scribbles. There's a little like Medusa down here. And this Medusa here, I actually turned into like a bigger drawing in a different sketchbook. Um, and I colored her in and everything. You would have seen it. I've got stickers over and everything. Um, and yeah, this one is again my Draugr, but just starting to get a few more details. I was kind of like figuring out how the skull would look, if it was really old and weathered and it had some teeth missing and that kind of stuff. This was for a commission portrait. Um, this was for the Bone Zone painting of 2021, I guess. I ended up turning this into like a full ink drawing. I basically knew the idea. I just wanted to figure out how I was going to color it. This is, oh, I was getting into a bit of a, a nostalgia phase here. On one side, we've got a big Furby face and just some like ideas of characters and stuff with that. And on the other side, we have uh, Daria in a, I guess, more realistic sort of drawing. I tried to use markers to color it in, and personally, I'm not very good with markers, so I kind of hated it and didn't post it anywhere online. But yeah, feeling very 90s. This is just for a commission, irrelevant. Jack and Daxter, first time they've made it into the sketchbook, even though I clearly draw them and like the whole world on a regular basis. Um, this is so the idea again like 90s retro we've got a Tamagotchi head and then he on his chain has this little like Tamagotchi creature that looks really like creepy and wrinkly and gross. Um, and this is a, um, a like centaur but a, um, with antlers, uh, like a deer centaur. I've drawn, drawn sort of these creatures before, but never in like a full scale like this. This was my uh, feeling depressed at Christmas time drawing. Um, yep, and just a random design. This part of the sketchbook, it was like the new year, and I tried to draw new drawings every day, so a lot of them were just random shapes that I turned into something. And then I stopped about here because I had an idea for a bigger painting, my big Jack and Daxter one. And yeah, I kind of got distracted and that took a really, really long time to make. Uh, yeah, so um, this is like January 25th, January 15th. So I guess I kept coming back to the sketchbook. And then I had this idea, um, which you can't see much, but it's essentially the same drawing on the other side which this, I, I turned into my Jack and Dexter painting and if you watched any of my um, Artist Alley vlog videos you would have seen that I turned this into like a metal print and, and someone bought it so um, people out there seem to like it which is cool. This here was a, uh, like I also turned this into a, a gouache painting, my very first gouache painting after actually learning how to use the medium properly and this was the idea I had behind that. Um, there is some little sketches here, but they're just random characters. This is like a little old man fairy. Um, there's like an eyeball dude up there, but you can't see it much through the page. And this is just like an old man farmer. 
Again, I am pretty... I like NPC characters. I like the background characters that are just living their life. They're just civilians, you know. Why not? Um, this page, I've got some sword designs. Because, yep, yeah, I like that kind of stuff. And this, we have uh, another fairy design. Oh, and this is um, the mosquito boss that ends up being a mount from the very first Rayman game. Brilliant game, brilliant design, all of the characters and shapes and stuff. Love it. This is Torrent from Elden Ring. I uh, have started painting him more than once now and haven't finished any of the paintings, but I needed to get an idea of like, he has a lot of layers. He's got this like bedroll and a saddle and then multiple layers of fabric and like harnesses and he's a whole thing really really cool design so that's what I'm doing here I'm fleshing out those shapes and stuff um, oh I definitely want to explore these again so these are my own kind of like Dark Souls ish boss monsters that I've created um, basically based off being depressed at work that's that's what it like so, like, the corporation one is this big fat monster who has one head at the top and then he's got these really, really useless, like, bodies that are just dangling down doing absolutely nothing and then most of the things is all these little people and these are all, like, merged and meshed together. They're pulling the weight and they're doing all the walking around and stuff like that. Um, that's how I feel like a lot of large corporations run uh, when I get in my mood, I suppose. And this one here is like, basically big monster is always behind you and it's slowly sucking the life out of you while dangling something in front of you that is actually distracting you, which is a metaphor for, I guess, like the money. It, it gives you just enough money to get through each week and yet yeah, it sucks out your soul in the meantime. I have my moments, you know? Um... These were just initial sketches for one of the um, like Torrent Elden Ring paintings that I started. Uh, this, oh, I was going through a phase here. Okay. This is another painting that I sort of started and never finished. It's essentially about childhood trauma and how the, the child within you uh, is, is killed and from that is like the birth of a warrior and a survivor essentially um yeah this is why i create art because i have a lot of stuff on my mind that i need to just like express and get out and then i don't have to think about it anymore um this is sort of the idea that i came up with and i did start the painting but again i never finished it um who knows maybe we'll go back to it one day here we are doing some lizard practice and because on the next page you'll see I started uh, drawing some dragons so I was getting the idea of how scales work and you know different head shapes of lizards because clearly dragons are sort of on the on the same idea is that same uh, same realm as lizards so yeah just learning learning how to draw dragon different dragon faces um, that's just a sketch for a commission. Um, and here is my first idea for my Nezuko drawing. And I was kind of doing some style exploration with uh, the artist behind the Final Fantasy uh, concept art. Really good. Bored of the idea and didn't. Sora. I started, um, started doing a Sora painting. The idea was we had like a dark, dark Sora because that would be something I would totally draw. And then one that's actually just more, a little bit grown up. Oh yeah, you guys might have seen this. Uh, I have a p video on YouTube called Bone Zone Painting, I think. These were the initial sketches for that. More commission stuff. 
This is from a dream I had, and I there was this weird dude, and his head was an eclipse. Um, I just had to like sketch it out. And these are just scribbles of characters. God of War pictures. Surprise, surprise. I like God of War. These ones you would have seen in my most recent video upload um, of the gargoyle portrait that I did. These are exploring t-shirt design ideas. I have this idea of this sort of like anime samurai like fight thing happening but in like a very rectangular panel. Um, I still can't seem to make it work so we'll see what happens with that. Maybe nothing. More gargoyle paintings um, like sketch ideas that never really got used and this is some like concept art of a tavern design um the yeah this is my own personal project that may or may not ever happen and the last couple of pages and this one is absolute scribble but um uh, again some more commission stuff so I can't really touch on what that is right now but uh, yeah in the future we might see some cool things come along so yeah thank you for joining me on that little uh, little art book journey um, I'm pretty busy at the moment with commissions and some like art projects that I'm working on with other people so I will probably drop off for a little bit in terms of like social media and videos and stuff like that but uh, bear with me because I do have a whole bunch of ideas that, um, you know, hopefully will come to play in this new year that's just started. And yeah, I am really, really looking forward to it. And I cannot wait till I get time to work on all these like things that I've got just brewing up in my noggin for now. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for joining me. Enjoy your day. Keep creative. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.